if you have a startup and you don't have a lot of people to work on your technical work or you can say technical area so what you can do you can simply select zigocloud.com as your backend helper okay so what you can do you can integrate the services like live streaming in-app chatting 3d of tar and there are so many features which is provided by zio cloud hey guys welcome back it's me rajan sharma and no guys i'm back with a new video so guys in this tutorial i will show you zio cloud in-app chatting sdk okay that how can you integrate it inside your application okay and if you want to create a chatting system so you don't have to build everything from the scratch if you want to integrate you have to simply create account okay you can also create a trial account first 10000 minutes are free okay every month so after that 10000 minutes consumption you have to pay as you go okay guys so you have to simply create account and then you can integrate the sdk and then you can simply create so many modern features in your application when you will switch to zio cloud and you can say it is a very easy to use okay. and you know guys the sdk implementation and the documentation is really easy to understand okay so if you have no idea i mean you are not really good in web rtc you are not really good in creating end to end uh, encryption chatting app so you can simply switch to zio cloud it is affordable easy to understand and you can say that you know its integration in the application is super simple okay video we will cover in app chatting sdk of zio cloud.com okay and i will show you how can you simply start with a very basic level of application and i will show you how can you use the sample code and how can you integrate it inside your application and then you will be able to integrate and then you will be able to create a chatting app okay so where you can create groups where you can create rooms where you can do one to one personal chat so i will cover all these things in this video okay so guys if you want to learn so make sure you watch this video till the end okay and all the code that i will use in this video i will provide you okay in the description box and you know guys the best part is you don't have to write a single line of code not even a line of code all the code everything is provided by zio cloud you only need to integrate it and then boom you are ready to go okay so i will show you about the in app chatting functionality or feature that is provided by zio cloud okay so guys without wasting time let's start so guys uh, first of all you can see that this is a interface website of zio cloud.com okay so when you will simply search it so in the previous tutorial i have shown you how can you implement live streaming sdk and also 3d avatar so i know that my viewers are familiar with this zeocloud.com okay and you know all the features and services they are providing and the pricing is uh, super affordable okay it's not too much it's not that much uh, you can say costly Uh, okay and if you have a kind of startup or you can say you don't have too much of funding and you cannot spend a lot of money on the server so you should definitely go with zio cloud okay and the best part is you will not require a lot of people for creating your so you can say software application or whatever service you are providing you can do it with few lines of code and it will also take very less time okay so you can create the project and you can make it live and that is the easiest part So guys, in this video we will be covering the in-app chat functionality of Zio Cloud. Okay, and for more information, you can see all the uh, highlights that you need to see that three billion plus daily call minutes, and you can see that it is a really good service provider. That's why you can see so many people are using it, and trusted by four thousand plus businesses and some really good projects. You can see, okay, some really good applications of Zio Cloud, Live Me, UP Live. yeah la star maker we all know about this star maker okay application so see that's what i was talking about that no need to start building from scratch okay go live in just few minutes okay and few lines of code so that is the best part of zio cloud it is affordable and you don't have to create everything from the scratch okay it's super simple and easy to implement so guys first of all here you can see that we will be talking about the in app chat so first of all simply click on this in app chatting okay and uh, from here you can see uh, you have to simply create account okay and uh, for the beginning you can create trial accounts okay so you don't have to pay anything you can start for free and uh, then guys when you will simply create account then uh, after doing the login you will see a interface like this here you can see that uh, the interface will look like this when you will purchase the plan and uh, you will simply do the login okay so this is how your app will look this is how your zio cloud admin console will look okay guys so now here after that you have to simply click on the projects then project management okay guys and uh, here i already have a video so i will not go with a new project i will simply click on this zio cloud project okay guys and here you can see all the information and you can see uh, keys that you need to add in the project 
and then after that guys for creating in app chat you have to simply first of all purchase i mean create an account with zero cloud okay 10000 minutes are free every month okay and then after that you have to pay so guys after creating the account you have to simply do the login i have also shown you this process in the zero cloud live streaming app sdk and i will give its link in the description and also in the i button so you can click on it and okay and you can simply see that video so guys now in this video of for implementing chat app what you have to do you have to simply click on this service management okay and then click on this in-app chat and uh, then guys here you can see that i am able to see this interface because i have already activated it but when you will create account for the first time and you will click on this in-app chat so guys you know you will not see this you have you will see a window where you have to activate it okay so simply click on activate in-app chat and then you have to wait for some time you can say hardly it will take 30 minutes and then your chat app functionality will be okay so guys then after that you will be able to create in app chatting okay so now this was the process of creating account and then uh, do login and after that just uh, create a project okay and then simply for creating project i have al already as i told you that i have created a video on it so you can simply open that live streaming video and you can check it okay so guys uh, this was the process after uh, activating this in app chat what you have to do you can see that we have this admin app console page okay so now for the implementation okay guys so now after that what you have to do you can see that here we are having this so documentation of zero cloud where you will get all the code okay you don't have to uh, you know create everything from own okay but in case if you want to add some customizations okay for example you want to add that in-app chatting of zero cloud but you want to add it with some other kind of application like you are creating a social media app a notes app a matrimonial website or you can say a survey app news app any kind of application you are creating and you just want to users to chat okay so if you so basically so is basically what i'm trying to say if you want to do some customizations from your own sites you can do it but the process will be so simple so first of all you have to simply click on this download button and then you will be able to download the zero cloud apk okay simply download click on it and in few minutes it will be downloaded okay guys so now here i have already done the download that's why i will not do it again and again so guys after when the download is successful so i will open this so here you can see that i have this zip zip example okay dot java dot zip it is a basically a zip file so guys what you have to do you have to simply extract it here okay and uh, click on this extra extract and guys you have to simply extract it and uh, okay so is now you can see that it is successfully extracted fine so now after that guys i will recommend you to you can simply cut this folder zim zim example dot java okay simply cut this folder and uh, paste it inside your android studio projects folder so here you can see that i have already done this process that's why i'm telling you okay so cut that project from downloads okay cut it from here and paste it inside this android studio project so it will be easy for you okay and you will not face any kind of error so guys now after that you have to simply open your android studio okay you can simply open that project in android studio but one thing that you need to make sure okay let me tell you so now i will close this project and then so i can show you show you so guys uh, now so guys now you can see that we already have two projects here you can see zip example java and zip example so i will tell you how you have to open that zip file after copy pasting so you have to simply click on open okay and guys see here you know inside this uh, i will show you this is a folder android studio okay and inside it folder we have pasted this zime example java so guys you don't have to open this file okay what you have to open you have to open this one okay not this first folder open this second folder okay guys so click on it and then simply click on the open and it will open it okay guys so this is a project that we are using and after opening this project guys you may face the problem that vcs mapping is not rooted or the path given path is wrong okay so in that scenario what you have to do i will also show you you have to simply click on that configure button okay blue text configure and then after that you have to simply select none and none for both the paths and click on apply and then okay okay and that error will be solved and then you will be able to create this app okay guys so now here you can see that we are having three things okay first is app id second is token okay so for the testing purpose okay for in the development mode 
you can give any random key as a token okay but when you will create this application live so you will get a token here in the admin console and uh, you can see that here you have to click on this generate and from here you can generate the token okay and uh, to learn how to deploy a token server you can click here and you will go to the documentation where you will get to know how you can generate a permanent token fine guys so uh, after creating the project and successfully opening it you have to simply give the app id okay which you will get here in this so uh, okay you cloud admin console app id and this app sign okay these two things are important so you have to copy two things and then you have to paste it here app id and then here app signing okay so guys after simply entering these two key values and any random key as the token okay you can simply run the application and you are ready to go okay you can do chatting one to one okay so guys now i will show you the output that how it's done so guys now i'm technically so guys now i'm running the application in this uh, emulator and you can see that uh, because i have already done the login part that's why you can see that it is already showing it is like this okay so in this my physical device you can see that uh, when you will run the application for the very first time so you will see a screen like this user id and username so see as you can see that when you will create when you will add this functionality in your application so you have to make sure that you pass all these things okay uh, or programmatically so users don't have to enter their own user id okay you have you make sure that you handle everything by your own so guys you have to simply enter the user id that for example in this uh, emulator i'm entering 123 as a user id and in my mobile i'm entering 1234 okay and my username is rajan okay and uh, here i will enter the username r a double j a n okay uh, sorry in this i will enter uh, rahul sharma and uh, here rajan okay then i will do the login so here you can see and then i will do the login so guys now basically we are inside the app and uh, when i will click on this and i will send any message that uh, hello hey i will send it so you can see that here we have received a message and this is only one to one chat okay and you can do these customizations when you will add the sdk in your application okay and you can also create groups here okay so when you will want so you can simply create groups from here and uh, then for creating a group you have to simply enter the group id group name members okay of the url so by doing this thing you can simply create a group and here you can see it is a user info so basically you can see that it is a very basic level integration sdk kit okay that we are using of zero cloud you can make it so much better when you will after doing a little bit customizations that i'm not showing you in this tutorial because then the tutorial will be very lengthy okay and my main aim is to show you how can you integrate the sdk so you can simply download this demo sample app okay and for more information you can visit the documentations okay and uh, for example here we have the console and uh, developers and then documentations okay and from here you can simply click on this in app chat okay and from here you can get all the codes okay quick start you can click on this sample app getting started okay there are so many documentation and everything is already provided by zero cloud and you can see you know this website this uh, entire documentation is very user friendly okay so if you have no idea you are just a very beginner but still you will get everything you will get to know that how can you start application with very few knowledge so here you can see that it is they are also guiding you how can you create a, a simply project or uh, just open the existing one okay and after doing a very little changes you will be able to implement it fine so as you can see that everything is so simple okay and uh, now if you want to create uh, some more customizations and uh, you are not uh, liking this ui okay that we are basically getting here okay so you can simply do is uh, create your own okay so here you can see prerequisites and uh, they will guide you throughout all throughout the process okay so every step is mentioned here okay how you have to create a project and see that i was all everything that i told you is already given here okay so if you will read the manuals if you will read the documentation carefully so you will be able to integrate it and then you have to make these small changes and then you will be able to use your cloud in your application okay and then you can create a super 
and then you can create a modern application with chatting and functionality in that okay so guys if you like this video so please like share and subscribe my channel and do not forget to press the bell icon so you will never miss any video and one more thing guys all this code i will provide its link and all these website you can see this uh, article this uh, developers uh, documentation everything i will provide in the description okay so if you want to create if you want if you have an idea to create a in-app chatting functionality so you can simply implement zoo cloud and you know first 10,000 minutes is free you can create trial account and then you pay as you go okay it's affordable it's easy to implement the sdk the implementation is so simple okay so if you like this video please like share and subscribe my channel and do not forget to press the bell icon so guys you will never miss any update thank you for watching